guys let's take a moment to appreciate these lashes <laughs> guys um so today's video i will actually be telling you guys i manage being a mom to three kids running my business and looking this good and yeah basically taking care of myself well one thing i must let you guys know it's it's not easy at times i would even say I wish somebody told me how hard it is being a mom, you know, because I feel like I am not ready for this. I feel like I'm still a child myself who needs to be mothered, you know. You are raising little children whom you want to have a bright future at the end of the day, you know. So you have to teach them respect. You have to teach them good manners. You have to teach them about life, you know. Good thing for me, I didn't grow up with a silver spoon in my mouth. So I am able to actually preach to them the way that I grew up. I try to teach them the value of life. I try to teach them what to do to end up having a beautiful life like the one that we have. So all of those things are things that go into raising them. You know, it's not only about bathing them, buying them nice clothes and take cute pictures of them and that's it no there's a lot of things that go into these things and i also keep in mind the type of people that i do not like the way they were raised or i do not like their behavior and stuff so i always use those things to actually help groom my children i hate disrespectful people and i try to teach my kids not to be disrespectful i try to teach them how to be respectful but sometimes i feel as if they behave as if they're not taught about these things but i told myself that you know what even i for one when my mom used to tell me about stuff i never used to like really listen to her but now those things keep coming back you know so i believe and i hope things will happen the same way with them that they will recall my words in future even if right now when i talk to them it seems as if you know those are the few things that you need to teach children and also you have to teach children about god about going to church the right things that god wants us to do and the bad things that god doesn't want i must say also being a seventh day marrying into the seventh day adventist church taught me a lot because we actually have a study bible so i'm able to then implement those things on my children teach them about them also I have to teach them how to work hard for things you know don't just be giving them stuff and you have to teach them to do those things how to talk to old people like it's a lot guys it's a lot and it's hard but i am doing it the thing that i can advise you guys to do is, is pray you know um god didn't give us all these blessings to be a burden to us you know he gave me these children because he knew that i can be able to raise them there's also school you need to help them with schoolwork. you need to give them time listen to them you need to bond with them you know and you need to also say words of affirmation to them keeping up with the physical beauty for me it's not that hard because i'm always been a person who likes to look after themselves and stuff although i did notice change when i started having my first child um i had a baby shower at my grandmother's place and my mom Kulu actually gave me words of advice and she said usually us moms once we have children we start taking care of our children and then we don't look after ourselves 
when your hubby gets back from work or anything you are wearing dirty t-shirts full of baby puke and stuff and that's really not nice it's really not a nice thing to do so always make sure that when your baby sleeps you quickly go and you know even if you're not showering but do something to look appropriate that when your husband comes back from work he finds you looking decent and stuff not wearing these free t-shirts that we always get or wearing dirty clothes so i upped my game from then onwards guys from there so i always try to do so even now and i feel like that's what actually pushed me into doing more of this and having my second child and my third child it didn't really stop me from doing that i think having insomnia works well for me because what happened is during the day i will help okay i will talk of the present because this is the situation that we are in during the day i wake up early at half past seven and help my son with his zoom classes when he's on breaks i check on my daughter to also help or see if she's listening or yeah like to check on what's going on and stuff or play with the little one and then during lunch time when my son has his lunch hour break i actually go and take a shower make up the bed and everything because by then my husband is gone to work and after that i continue to help my son when he's done with school we do his homework and stuff and then once we finish i get to rest a little before i cook and then after that because i've spent time with them and i was with them i would like lay low a little bit all days are different sometimes i just want to rest like probably catch up on some sleep or if maybe my phone has been buzzing the whole day with messages from fashion things i will then have time to actually check on those messages and do a bit of work or sometimes i feel like just watching something on the tv but um what i'm trying to say here is every day i make time for myself and for the things that i want it's not every day where i get to do business watch tv and rest it's either i'm working or resting and if i don't want to rest maybe that's when i will like lay in bed and catch up on netflix so that's how i manage my time from eight o'clock when they sleep at times that's when i'm able to focus fully on myself and if i don't have enough time i find myself sleeping late because i was trying to dedicate that time to me you know um a day doesn't pass without me giving myself time you know and i believe if i slept if i didn't have insomnia and slept early let's say maybe i slept at 9 pm like some of you guys did or 8 pm i would always feel like i'm cheating myself because i didn't manage to do things that make me happy so that's how i balance my work always give yourself time even if it's an hour you know even if it's it's 30 minutes give yourself that time to actually catch up on something after the kids sleep at 8 pm i usually read my devotion books and do study bible with my husband and enjoy watching tv together we watch the news or anything that's the only time i watch the news so that's how i actually live my life and i hope it makes sense to you and it will help you also to manage your time but in jay guys in order to feel sane in nice time and then on weekends where there's no cooking for me to do and no kids to look after because they don't have classes i actually go to the mall for a little bit of retail therapy retail therapy makes me happy and keeps me sane so that is how i do things um i always try to give them time so that when i fully want the whole day to myself there's a bit of understanding that 
um, mommy has gone out to the mall or mommy is having a me time without them feeling bad although each time I leave the house they always feel like why are you leaving us behind we should be coming with you no mommy don't go don't go but that's basically how I do things and actually once in a while my husband will actually let me and one of my close friends to actually have a good time you know because he feels that I need it more than anything because of the effort that I put into raising our kids you know because he knows how it can be tiring and hectic so he does that for me and I really appreciate him and love everything that he does for me because in as much as this is our responsibility if i don't do it who's going to do it he also understands that i am a human as well you know um, joy life so that is why everything that i do i always do it with my big heart and don't get tired because i know that each and every day i have a me time so yeah that's all about it and i hope it was helpful to you and i hope i also covered a lot of things because sometimes you know i shoot a video and say a lot of things and then when i actually watch what i've actually recorded and then i think of something else that i didn't say and sometimes it even makes me not upload the whole thing because i've missed that little thing but i just hope i've saved everything that i wanted to share because i didn't write this down i was just telling you guys based on what actually happens on my daily life i hope you loved this video please don't forget to press the like button comment and share thank you so much for watching guys bye